morning everybody and welcome to the vlogmas day 9 correct vlogmas day 9 wow what's up i woke up i slept really long this morning i woke up at like 9 30 and then my parents-in-law left around 10 so i was just like talking to them a little bit they were telling me some of the filippo stuff from childhood it was actually really 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 entertaining can't wait to tell filippo all the stuff that i have found out it's the best so i woke up i put on something very cozy and comfy as you can see i got this i love this kit cardi can you see it it's like wait let me show you i'll try at least to show you okay so here's the outfit kate cardigan i don't know there's like a sleeveless black turtleneck top and the row cashmere pants that i love very 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 much what's the deal for the day well Filippo told me at 11 30 he'll come downstairs to pick me up because we need to do some shopping i'll, I'll explain into more detail and then we want to go for lunch together however it's like 11 20 now haven't done any makeup haven't gotten dressed nothing's done not very proud of that however there's something that i would like to show you look what we got actually we have the christmas tree up but i'm not very proud of it i'll tell you why so normally you see all of those branches normally we would put them in between to make the tree look a little bit richer and as you can see i personally think it looks quite like especially on camera like in real life it looks quite cute but i think it looks quite poor <laughs> on here so i don't know if we need to buy some more decorations or if i'm gonna end up putting all those branches that are over there in between you guys let me know what you think i also have some gifts already there one from etro and you guys have seen i have the advent calendar from long call which i think like we should really open i already can open like now what nine days that's pretty great maybe we'll do it later on today the thing is if you ask me i will do it right away but it makes no sense since like literally filippo will be downstairs very soon we're going to san laurent before lunch to pick some looks and then we're going for lunch filippo and i filippo is going to help me pick and choose my san laurent looks because we're actually going on a trip with san laurent in three days two days two three days so we will take you guys as well with us now i really need to put some makeup on i wasn't really gonna do the makeup because honestly okay so i don't really have that much time we've established that already how many times have i said it I'm gonna try and do the fastest I can. So this is from my airport situation yesterday. I'm gonna start in with this rose ink in enhance. I love this. It gives such a beautiful glow, like a really beautiful glow. Also don't have a mirror now because I'm literally, I'm gonna get a mirror in a sec. I really love this product because it's so lightweight. It doesn't look cake. It preserves the natural look that I quite like. And that's what I personally enjoy. Oh, so many questions that I wanna respond to you guys. I was actually gonna do a lot this morning but then with vlogmas i have so many things to do besides vlogging and talking all day to the camera i also have to you know like review the content and put together stuff and make sure that everything is done on time and approve lots of other stuff and obviously youtube is not the only platform that i have there's also instagram i need to upload now this morning something there is also tiktok i've been active i've been uploading on tiktok also every single day guys do you follow my tiktok because if not i will put a qr code here and if you scan it, it will take you straight to my TikTok. If you don't want to scan it, it's literally my username is Tamara. Just like for my Instagram, it's very easy. So yeah, <sighs> this is the Refi Brow. I literally love this product so much. I think it's brilliant. I really like Refi products. Who did I see? I saw someone recently use it. And I was like, oh my God, I love this brand. And she was like, yeah, me too. So what did I want to tell you? You know what, as well, I got comments from you guys, from one person asking me if I can talk a little bit about like plastic surgeries and things like that and you guys know like my opinions I've spoken about it so many times I feel like it's repetitive and boring for the regular viewers if I go into it again and again and again where is the blush I want to use that beautiful blush from Rosing it gets repetitive for people that watch every single videos if they have to watch him answers over and over again you know what I mean so I'm gonna tell you some new things that I haven't said before people ask me well obviously not everybody some people think I look horrible and disgusting and that's okay but some people say that they like the way i look not many people it's not like my, in my content i think my content is not really based on the look i'm not like also you guys know i'm very obviously into the whole kind of very much into branding positioning and like image aspect of marketing and i don't think that my image and my aspect is based on my appearance at all like i'm not like trying to be this beauty queen kind of content girl beauty girl at all like i'm trying to be like fashion girl and i'm trying to create completely something says the girl now doing makeup but i'm trying to do like something that is not based on my look at all it's based on my taste my values Filippo 
was just arrived and I'm not even ready. And he was like, make sure you're ready at 11.30. I was like, of course I'll be ready at 11.30. Why wouldn't I be ready? Anyway, well, it's Vlogmas. I have an excuse. So basically some people obviously like the way I look. Some people don't and that's okay. That's personal. Like I said, it doesn't mean anything if people think I look cute or not because my confidence, my self-esteem and stuff is not relying on the way I look. It's not, that's not the thing. So someone's asked like if I can talk about like all the procedures that I have done, including like facials, but also like uh, aesthetic procedures, surgeries, uh, Botox, everything and anything. And to explain what, how, like what do I, how do I achieve my look? And I have just one thing to tell you. Obviously I'm obsessed with this palette. I have only one thing to tell you and that is next. My advice to you is whether you go to have surgery, whether you go to have fillers, whether you go to have Botox. Whenever I went for any kind of consultation, the doctors would say like, okay, like we want to do the tiny little micronomes. I'd be like, no. When you would go to get, for example, let's just give you an example. You go for a consultation for dental procedure, let's say. The dentist will be like, here are all the different shades that you can have. Um, choose what you want. And people mo mainly choose the brightest, whitest teeth that exist. Okay, like the Hollywood smile. And I personally think that's when things start looking so fake and too much. I always ask, I want to look as natural as possible. I don't want to look like this is an extreme. There's another bell, doorbell, I bet it's Filippo. Because I don't know where my phone is, so it could likely be, likely be that he's been calling me and I'm not answering, you know, because I'm filming. So yeah, the point is, if you want me to talk more about this, let me know and I'll make sure to answer. Yes, I was fearing that it would be you. I was like, I bet this is Filippo. You're not so pronta. <laughs> no, sei pronta. You're not so what did I say? 11.30 downstairs. Sì, sí, eh, però adesso è 11.29. No, baby, we need to go because at 3 o'clock we have to be back. Baby, here. I have to be back at 1 o'clock. No, baby, we have lunch. <laughs> Unless, if you want, we don't have to go to lunch, baby. I want to take you somewhere. But if you have... Uh, somewhere nice? Yeah, but you don't have to. But is it far? No, baby, it's here, maybe. Okay, I'm, I'm finishing, but I... Okay. You, you don't care, huh? I care, I'm doing my lips, so about I don't my, understand. About my time, you don't care. Baby, I care so much, and you know what else I care about? Your happiness. And baby, I spent the morning with your parents, and they were telling me the stories about you when you were like little and naughty Come on, little. Move. Naughty move. little. Top, top. It's the best. Okay. The goodies. Yeah. My Neta Forte order arrived. I'm already choosing my New Year's Eve dress. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think it should look like? Uh, maybe we also find something at Saint Laurent. Phil, at least what's good is that I know what I'll be wearing. That's good at least. I don't need an actual time to choose. That would be really annoying if I had to choose now what to wear because Filippo would go ballistic, of course. Honestly, guys, sometimes I think I'm such a weird person. Like, I'm a very family-oriented person. I love family. I love spending time with family, with my family, with Filippo's family, with my parents, with my sister, obviously more than anything in the world. But but I'm also so good alone and I'm so independent and then I'm not just someone that is like I go away and I miss people I'm more someone that like I just really really super enjoy people when I spend the time with them so can you please explain to me why am I so contradictory also for myself okay makeup done what do you think guys so I was telling you I just spoke to Filippo's parents this morning and they were telling me about Filippo's first job yes and how he wanted first they told me how he, there was a pair of jeans he wanted what was the brand El Charro. I never heard of baby. What? Never heard of The well, baby is the 80s. So in the 80s in Italy, there was a, a trend, a big trend. What, probably the last one, N nothing like that happened after that. It was called the Paninari. In Italy, everybody knows what we it is. We already discussed the yeah. Paninari last vlog. And El Charro was a, a it was a belt uh, brand that if you were a Paninaro, you had to have a charm. And were you Paninaro? But baby, of course. It was, uh, the outfit was uh, Timberland boots, uh -huh. denim, it could have been unlimited, uniform, Frank Scozzese, wow, baby, like uh, brands that you cannot believe. Another was the top, was Best Company, mm -hmm. for sure. You need to have Best Company. And then on top, there was the Woolrich, but the most important was the Montclair. Every single color. So in my... Great. Barlington socks and uh, that's it, baby. It was like the best. 
so in my era there was kind of a uniform also that was like a really trend and i don't think necessarily it's the fact that there was never anything like that you know what i think it is because i also feel like there was never anything like that like when i was 15 16. it's just i think that this is when it matters the most after that you can be who you are you know but at that age there's almost like a uniform no you know what i think i think that when you are a teenager you need someone to follow that's what you yeah. need an idol you need the favorite singer until you discover you, yourself. you need someone to copy because it's nice that's why you know there are this movement that's why during my era we were wearing makeup because david bowie uh, there was the duran duran there was movies there was uh, top gun you know that we we all had idols and it's nice to have it when you're 14 because that helps you to build your own path do you know what was in serbia like the like no. trend between this kind of group in my group so you had like there was a replay jeans yeah. or miss 60. yeah that was like the jeans skinny jeans came out with low waist like lowest possible waist yeah replay or miss 60. sometimes diesel you yeah. know oh, yeah. they were so expensive baby i cannot even tell you like i remember there was a pair of replay jeans that my mom bought that i still remember how much they cost because my heart was bleeding but i still wanted them you know yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah. the like super popular was Laura, Laura Biagiotti or Cesare Paciotti shoes yeah so I still have like a pair of Paciotti baby gold leather with the chain yeah. in the front and you know obviously they had a little bit of platform yes you know tiny 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 bit that was the thing and then on top to be honest there wasn't really like what you had to have but we loved Benetton always of course of always course. loved Benetton Benetton and Stefanel was uh, in yeah, Sisley yeah. It was a big thing. It's Enrico, so funny because, you know, Enrico I was telling my, my sister and my, I had the Enrico Coveri wallet. Maybe I bought it with like saved money that I saved. Yeah. But I told my mom and my sister how I told you, ah, do you remember the brand called Sisley? And you were like, no, never heard in my life. And my mom was like, how does he not remember Sisley? It was, it was so important. And then I said, Filippo calls it Sisley. Sisley. Because I guess in Italian, it's kind of how you pronounce it. Like, you know, also... You know, we, it was kind of fast fashion for us. Yeah. So it was, there were four brands. There was Sisley, Stefanel. Same. Benetton yeah. and uh, Sisley, Stefanel, Benetton and then there was Enrico Cover, it was a little bit more. I remember I did my Cresima in Enrico Cover jacket. Wow. You know, it was like... Uh, it was blue, no? But it, was a ben it was Benetton, Stefanel, ah, Fiorucci as well. Um, but it was very, very... It was before Zara, yeah, yeah, before H&M. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I ever before, found Zara. Before uh, and 10. other stories, before all this fast fashion that came after. You know, in the 80s, there was no fast fashion. Yeah. There was Benetosi, Le Fiorucci, whatever. When I was 10, I discovered Zara. I yeah. was in Spain with my mom, my grandma, and my sister. And I got ballerina flats, black, or nine. I was nine because it was, I remember it was before the bombarding. So I got the black ballerina leather flats uh -huh. and they were exactly, I can't remember if they were 10 or 20 euros, but we were like shocked because they were leather and they were beautiful, you know? And that's yeah. the first encounter with Zara. And we were like, this is a Spanish brand, like Zara. Very famous Spanish brand only in Spain. Can you imagine? Lord. But what I wanted to say is like, so Filippo's father told me that Filippo got his first job when he was 14. Can I tell? Of course, I'm very proud of it. I was working in a um, tobacco field. So it was uh, five kilometers from my house. So I was going with the bicycle. What time to what time? Well, starting at 6 a.m. because, you know, it was very hot in the summer. You know how it works. You go to the tobacco fields, you start planting the, you know, the, the, the seeds. You do the seeding first in an empty field and then they grow and then you have to remove the four leaves on the bottom. I have no idea how And it works. then you have to dry them and, you know, it's, it's, it's actually beautiful. It's a, it connects you with the nature very much, but I was very young, so I didn't get that. Uh, connections you know i don't remember i don't know that but when i was 14 it was on a job but my fam our family friend had a field of raspberries in serbia in yeah. Shabat, yeah. close to Shabat, and we went there and i was uh, picking raspberries all day long for a weekend since like early morning yeah, to late at night but not for that. money more like for to be honest i love raspberries so i was just eating all day long i remember at night when i would get home i would feel so sick of raspberries baby and you know they're full of bugs and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. and i never was afraid or disgusted by bugs because my sister is super scared of spiders so all my life i had to like make sure to take care of all the bugs around so she doesn't scream and stuff i had to be the brave one you know yeah so i'm never i was never scared of bugs but basically i really enjoyed that but it wasn't a job my first job i was very privileged 
because my first job was at 17. I really insisted to get a job. I, I kept asking my mom, can I please have a job? Can I please have a job? And I got a job for that brand that I showed you when we were in Vienna, Chibo. Yeah. It's a coffee brand. And basically, I was a coffee promoter in a supermarket, Tempo, I think, uh-huh. in Novi Sad. And I had to do the training on coffee beans, which obviously is great because I love coffee. So I had to do training on Arabica and Robusta, which are the two different coffee beans that you have and the two different coffees that uh, Chibo was. Now they're getting like also a promotion. I don't even know if they're still selling, but you know, it's two different beans that they have. Um, There was this big boss of the brand and then the guy who was uh, hiring the promoters. I had a uniform, Uh you know, that I kept at home and like would put it on when I'm going to work. And I was basically standing at a little stand in the supermarket offering people coffee. I was making coffee and I was also making sales and I was like so good at making sales of this coffee because actually first of all I really learned all the differences you know how I pick up information like super fast but also like I was just friendly to talk to strangers but not too pushy you know I was like ah you don't need to buy two you can buy one but like just try it and let me know what you think and stuff and then people were more likely to buy it but I really loved it I loved the product because I love coffee so and uh, that was my first job and I remember I got like 50 euros from that job maybe 50 euros do you understand like nothing but I felt like I made my own money. Oh, baby, it was incredible. the best feeling ever. This is incredible. There's no queue in no front queue. of Goyar. Maybe we have to Must go be to closed, Goyar. baby. Must be closed. No, no. Maybe there is no queue. We need to go to Goyar okay. immediately. Okay, I agree, actually. Right? Because there is something that I want. Yeah. I wonder why there's no queue. I bet it's too cold for people to queue. Probably. Or maybe they're not even accepting queues now. You know, a lot of like now luxury stores after the BOF article, they're now uh, offering like appointment that there's no more queuing. Really? Yeah. Because that BOF article really... Yeah. Okay. Well, you haven't seen my outfit of the day, but I'm wearing the wardrobe suit. I will link it below. Maybe you will see it through. I'm wearing my Saint Laurent gloves. My Kelly Box 28. I'm wearing... I want to show you the shoes, but I can't. I'm wearing my Dero... You will see it. You will see it. Anyway. Wow. I'm loving this. Filippo. Okay. I have a lot of things that I'm going to try for my looks for the trip in Paris. So let's see. Okay. Let's get trying. I have a few pieces here. As you guys can see, I kind of picked what I like. They had some stuff prepared for me, but I picked some other stuff as well. Okay. Filippo loves the look. He doesn't like the shoes. I kind of have to say I agree. They're not really flattering because they cut it like short, but love the look. Guys, can we just discuss this jacket? It's like an oversized dream. It has some shoulder pads here, but like low shoulder pads. And I wanna show you how I would wear it. I think this would be also perfect to travel. Guys, I love these heels. They're like the ones that I already have, but in black, different at the back. And also they're like satin and velvet in the front. I'm also trying a different skirt because I wanna wear this with a brown jacket. I don't know if this top or another top, guys. Look at this back. I don't know if you can see it, but it's beautiful. Fitting done. I got two looks for the trip. I'm vlogging on the phone because my bag is outside and better to vlog than not to vlog. Who agrees? The shoes that I told you I will show you. You see? I love them so much, especially with the white cashmere socks. It's a bit of a grandpa style, but we all know that that's what I like. You see what I mean when I say a bit of a grandma style? Cute, no? Both Filippo and I love this. Baby, I never met two people that drink less alcohol and like uh, more of this kind of... We want to have a tray for drinks in our living room, like kind of alcohol drinks. I'm fighting this belt. I need to put more holes into it. That's not fun, I know. I was just doing fit check, guys. And I felt like I was doing something kind of naughty because I just left like the phone on the thing when I was doing it. And someone was like, Tamara! And I was like, oh, I got in trouble. But it was like such a sweet girl that I just met here, like a follower, you know? Know, and I thought like, oh my god, like she's calling me for doing something bad. So I was so surprised. That all good in the hood. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the car. Finished the sun run. I think I picked like two really cool looks. What do you think, Filippa? The best. The right? Best. Yeah, yeah. You did a great job. Grazie, grazie mille. Now, my loves, what are we doing? We are actually... going to the best. I'm going to have the best Caesar salad in the world. Yeah. And you can have, uh, I mean, spaghetti yesterday, I had the spaghetti here, it was like, uh, wow. So just to let you know, we <coughs> spent obviously like a few hours like finishing off stuff. And then Filippo said, let's go to Four Seasons to have pasta. And I said, you know what? No. And then he's like, let's go to Marchese for a toast. And I said, no, because it's only day eight of Vlogmas. In the last eight days, we already had lunch at Four Seasons 
and I had a toasted marchese. So let's change it up and go to Bulgari. So we're now going to Bulgari for lunch. So you suggested Bulgari? You suggested it. Oh, okay. But first you suggested Four Seasons and then in Marchese. It's not true. Oh, look how beautiful it is decorated. I don't think I've ever seen it when it's Christmas decorated, no. you know? No. Well, you see. It's beautiful. Why are we here? Love it. Okay. Beautiful, so Christmassy. Look, each balcony has a little star. Cute. What do you like to eat here, Filippo? Mm -hmm. What do you like to eat here? I've only been ever to Bulgari for merenda, for dinner and for breakfast. I've never been here for lunch. So there is all but dinner, is yeah, I remember. It because it's, um, it's Michelin star. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Caesar salad looks so good. I never tried it here, so I'll copy Filippo. And obviously, I don't have to tell you about this. Taste test. Let's see. Mm. Right? Mm. I told you it's the best. Mm. Because the chicken is so well marinated. Yeah, and it's good that you can do a bit of meat, you know, even if it's white. I don't really eat any meat, as you know. Right. But I think I need to change that. Maybe I'm now going home. No, we need to pick up the stuff quickly. No, 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 no. no. Quickly. Oh, maybe. Beautiful. Okay, you want to go home and I do it? No, it's okay. I'll come keep you no. company. Yeah? Yeah. It's okay. I'll drop you off. I'll drop you off. No, it's okay no, because... No, I'll drop you off and then I come... Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, but then you need to come down when I come Exactly. I don't want to do that. No. So let's go together because no, I don't want to come up and come down. And I want to go home, get cozy. Yeah. And eat all the tiramisu that your mom made. Yeah. Three, all three pots I'm gonna eat now. Last night, guys, Filippo brought to bed one big pot of tiramisu. Baby, how, there were how many portions of tiramisu were there? Like six? Yep. And he said, here, you can eat it all. And I said, okay. So I, I finished almost all of it. Like, I think I ate like four pieces of tiramisu, like normal portions. Yep. And then he said, it's okay, baby, you don't need to eat it all, you know? <laughs> and I said, I know I don't need to, but I don't know how to stop. So we left like 20% or 10% of one pot. Yep. It's so good, it's insane. You know the pot that you guys saw us eat at dinner? So that's when we kind of finished it in bed. And now I'm gonna have it for dessert. We need to pick up some stuff. We, we got, ah, oh, you guys didn't see that because I think in Goyar, baby, I didn't feel comfortable filming, you know? They're so yeah, yeah. strict, you cannot even buy something, not to mention film. So we actually went to Goyar and we bought some stuff. I'm gonna immediately check if the bits are suitable, you know? Oh uh, yeah, because otherwise maybe I can bring it back. Yeah. Yeah, so I bought like, because you guys know I got a new laptop, I got a case for the new laptop and I need also, what else do I need? You need nothing. <laughs> I got a new San Luis actually, though. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna, we picked up Goyar already, right? You picked it up. Yep. And now we have to pick my fits from San Loran. They, they could have get, gotten delivered, but I was just like, mm, it's okay, we'll pick it up. And then the architect is coming home in 35 minutes, right? Ah, I forgot! Did he say 3 or 2.30? I forgot at 3, I have to be home. So yeah, I'll show you a bit of Christmas decorations here. Love how Pisa is decorated so beautifully now. Love it. They always have like very chic decorations. And then now we have new Chanel here on the right. Baby! New Chanel here in Monte Napoleone, you guys. In case you didn't know, my best friend will be very happy next time she comes. Next to my other favorite store, a little bit lower Just down, on the Marpigay. Okay, andiamo. Adesso andiamo a casa. Si. You want a little nom nom at the Santa Ambrose? No, baby, because I have a tiramisu at home. I feel a bit like I was just telling Filippo, not extremely comfortable today. So my mood is also a little bit reflecting it, but then, so basically what it is, yesterday you guys know I went to the dentist, right? Everything was fine, everything is fine, it's an amazing dentist and I have these temporary crowns. All good with me. But today it's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. It's not painful. And you know, he told me it's gonna be uncomfortable. And I was like, what does it mean uncomfortable? You know? And it's not painful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him anyway now. Gonna Maybe there him. is no need. No, no, I will just check. Maybe him. he did tell us it's gonna be uncomfortable. I know, and I'm gonna tell him, listen, She's a bit uncomfortable today, it's all normal and it's gonna be... Maybe you say, yeah, of course it's normal in two days. It's gonna be I don't normal. wanna go back, baby, to the dentist, I don't I have don't time. I don't want you to go back. Can I just talk to the dentist? No. 
<laughs> you know? No. Can I just you call him no. and, uh, and check that everything is uh, doing with my girl is, you know, right? Thank you, baby. I love you so mm. much. Mm. Anyway, I was gonna say, it, it feels a little bit, do you know what's the feeling like? No. It feels like when you have something between your teeth and it's very annoying, you know? Yeah. But imagine that between every tooth. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. Because it's like very tight. I have a big, big history, baby, with the dentist. I know. Well, so that's kind of the situation. And it makes me a little bit not in the best mood. Also, I feel a little bit overwhelmed today because obviously there's a lot of work around Vlogmas. I need to vlog, I need to create content, etc. you know, baby. But we also have other jobs that I'm delivering, like for TikTok, for Instagram, I'm doing the blog, yeah, managing the team. That, we have the, you know, the architect. We have the architect, house. we are managing the home, I need to I organize a, something. I have a call starting one minute ago. I have another person that I'm working with, I have to pack, I'm leaving to London tomorrow for a dinner with Dior. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's like a ton of stuff going on. And it's all good, it's all good. It's We're super blessed. good. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm very, very grateful. I feel like I'm I'm literally privileged to have so much work in the time that I know it's like really difficult. I feel so privileged that I'm only doing better and better and better every year. Like, and I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this as like, you know, for everybody who feels sometimes overwhelmed or if you guys feel like sometimes, you know, things are a bit too much, look at it from the other side. You know, it's like, I feel very privileged for all of that but it affects my mood at one point you know i guess that's normal i have my life coach session tomorrow so i'm gonna bring all of these things up you know that nobody can improved. understand you better than me because me i think i'm a very positive person very yeah, optimistic and i'm always in a good mood but when i'm not well i'm so miserable like if i have uh, i don't know but not like i can deal with headache i can deal with fever you know i don't mind what I cannot deal with is when I have these things like dentists or like, um, you know, that like two weeks ago, uh, no, three weeks ago when I got sick in LA. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. I was like, uh, you know, baby, when you're sick, you're so miserable, yeah, yeah, but I'm I, so used to it. Like I now, at first I was like, oh my God, this is like so annoying. But now I'm not annoyed anymore. It's so funny because I spoke to your mom this morning, as you know, and we were talking about little things that you do, right? Yeah. Like we all have our little things. And I was just saying, you know, now, Filippo and I are at the stage in our relationship where we really understand each other. Also, the little bad sides. Like, you are now so used to my bad sides. Like, you know that I'm messy. You know that sometimes I get frustrated with, like, things but and you know, overwhelmed. you know, we are the proof. Actually, we could give... Uh, I mean, I don't want to be arrogant, but the journey that we did together yeah. to learn how to turn what drives you ballistic about it. I mean, the other person, uh, the, the other person, to turn it into something useless, it changed your life. Useful. Like the first thing, use, useful. The first year I was with Tam, we, you know, we we're very different. Yeah, very different. So I was like, things were driving me crazy. But now it's honestly, it's very, it's so simple to switch. Yeah. So it doesn't take any, any energy. Yeah. If all you need to do is just to focus on the fact that is all you have to do is to say or to do this. Yeah. And now, whatever was driving me crazy about Tamara, now it's very easy for me to deal. And not only is easy, but we get useful to each other in those yeah. kind of moments. And like two years ago, it was the worst because I'm miserable because I'm maybe I'm sick. She doesn't get it. Yeah. And on top of that, she makes me worst. So like, for example, Filippo is not like the best company, let's say when he's sick. I don't think anybody is, okay? But he gets a bit grumpy and a bit like everything is, you know, he's not like, oh my, he is 99% of the time such a pleasure to be around. Everybody wants to be around Filippo. He's funny, he's joyful, he's charismatic. When he's sick, he's like the person that nobody wants to be around, okay? I also don't want to be with myself. <laughs> and then... I mean, thank God I'm not sick yeah awful, and i would know? get a little bit like not offended but you know i would be like hey like you know this is not okay but now i know he's sick it's okay it's yeah that, fine. that's that's the key exactly you know the say aid is not okay it's not your home yeah it's not okay i'm you know i'm miserable yeah. that's it all i need from you is to Understand support it my miserability yeah i need support in that yeah i'm sad i want you to be sad with me yeah i don't want you to try cheer you up i don't want to you to cheer me up yeah. i don't want to watch a funny movie no i don't want to listen a funny song no. i want someone that cries with me yeah very simple once you understand that life changed from here to here
I promise. And same with you. You know, at the beginning I was like, uh, okay. I'm I different. This, uh, I don't no, have I this you, miserable. I give you this example. Tamara is, uh, is messy because she works a lot. There is, in our house, there is cameras, there is microphones, there is bags, there is boxes, there is uh, makeup on the floor. You don't understand. So at the beginning I was like, but this is very disrespectful towards me that I'm the opposite because I'm very, you know, I like order. So I was like, this is not okay. So I was pushing her to try to be less messy. And then one day it I was go, giving me so much pressure, by the way. And then one day, not one day, after a few times we argue about it. After sometimes we don't talk to each other for one hour. After, you know, I'm trying to say that we worked on it. After yeah. sometimes I understood that she's the best woman in every single aspect of my life and her life she's um, no no she's giving she's work workaholic she work hard she's very giving she's gentle she's the best person as a friend as a partner as a daughter she's a mess so i'm like you know what she's great in everything else she just is nice. really bad when it comes on mess so just support that i also think something one thing that i'm and really that's not it, baby. proud Wait, of let me finish i don't give you any uh, we don't argue anymore about your the mess. Mm-hmm. You also understood a little bit more. You have your messy room mm-hmm. where you can do whatever you you want, and that's it. There is no more complaining about mess. But I think mess was not the best example. I think much better example, the one where I appreciate it so much more, is that you understand that when I get like annoyed in a second and my mood shows that I'm annoyed, you now deal with it. Yeah, yeah. You 100%. know, obviously, you know that I love you, like the words cannot describe yes and i have so much respect for the man that you are you know that because of filippo would never i think for filippo the most important thing is respect i think it's more important for you than love and I, you showed it to me very I, early i think on. so i think so yeah and you know i would never i would never how do you say allowed to be disrespectful no complain about love you know love yeah. can be in many different ways but respect there is only way to be respectful yeah. that's it i'll just finish this quickly i was saying that um, Filippo now knows that when I get like annoyed or frustrated about something and like I'm in that funny mood like my mood changes quickly he knows very well how to support me and how to deal with it for me to not feel more frustrated I think my sister is also very very good at it but my mission is to get better at those mood swings okay just to show you guys quick outfit of the day because I'm not sure if you guys have managed to see it I need to make holes on this belt so I can wear it where I want it to wear it and how I want it to wear it however it's also quite cute like this i think it gives kind of something nice but i definitely need more holes because this is not a sustainable solution now i'm gonna have a piece of tiramisu and then the plan is to actually do my hair i know i promised to you guys that i'm gonna show you how i do my hair right so we need to do that also but let me show you this ah! basically i was not lying when i told you that last night i pretty much finished this whole thing okay and that's all i can say about myself so i need to do my hair because i need to film some stuff for tiktok and i thought i'd show you how i do it as well i'm not gonna keep it like a live tutorial because then it's gonna be such a long vlogmas and kind of doesn't feel like i don't know natural that you guys want like a tutorial in the middle of vlogmas like a full-on but maybe just like a few demonstrations like i do my makeup and the more tiramisu stays in the fridge the better it is okay i love it so good i literally think italian food when it's made in italy and it's when it's like fresh good ingredients there's nothing like it also i know it might not seem like it to you guys i'm quite honest philip was coming at the door he stopped me from finishing it all actually philip just asked me if i ate all the tiramisu or i left some for him the thing is luckily we have a lot more left so basically i use my dyson corral for the colors you can use your straighteners i just love this one because it actually really protects the hair from the heat because it has like a very special technology i don't know if you're going to be able to see but the plates are kind of moving in order to protect your hair i'm just going to show you how to do one strand because i think like that's more than enough really for you to understand and i have so much hair it would take me three days to actually curl everything live on camera so i don't think i would even be able to okay we now know that my straighteners are heated you take this and you do kind of like you do kind of like this And then this, and then this, and then this. It's not showing the hair. And then this, and then 
like this and you'll see you don't see because it's not showing the hair hold on okay here you can see it you see that's it that's all you need to do so take an next strand like for example you just have to obviously they're all straight when i start as you can see and then again so easy like honestly and it's so nice because it's curved and I bring the corral with me wherever I go because you can do so many things with it and look this is the more made curl honestly I can do a full tutorial on how I do it but hold on let me show you so you see I've just done like one second job with this the other strands are fully straight so I don't know if you can see you see you just make like these little kind of uneven curls and then when you're done with everything well here you can see the difference between the straight strands that are poking at the bottom and the ones that are kind of done and that's that you then do the whole hair whole head super quick to be honest and I really enjoy it one thing I have to say is is that I love using Dyson Corral it's like um, wireless also so I can do it like in the living room while I'm watching like Netflix or whatever I can go anywhere around the house while I'm just quickly doing it so it always looks different it always looks messy you guys know sometimes it looks more voluminous sometimes it looks less sometimes it looks more straight also depends how much time I have to really dedicate to actually doing it so you know it is what it is but this little device i really love it and i think it's incredible i think it's also a great christmas present if you want to give it to someone now i'm gonna do my whole head of this while i'm watching a video that i've filmed already so that i can like kind of have a look before it goes live tonight and yeah i need to film some work guys what we bought at goyar is here i already have this in green but one size bigger the question is is it gonna fit my laptop ah baby what? it's gonna fit you were right thank god baby bellissimo look how beautiful you guys grazie tu sei amore della mia vita you're the love of my life i never knew what it means to love somebody until i met you Filippo convinced me to get a smaller one but I was like no it's not gonna fit it's not gonna fit but no it perfectly fits my new laptop Filippo grazie love it no, so much maybe I'll be home very soon. okay let's I really like it look at this guys how cute is it and also protects my laptop which I think is important I got it in burgundy I'm really loving burgundy okay maybe not like the most summery color and now it's like kind of Christmas and stuff but I really really like it and on top of that also like why is my hair up I put it up because I've done it and I like to sometimes when I do it to put it up I don't know it's just my style so I also got you will see when we unbox everything but I got we got a few little things in this color actually that I really like I'm very obsessed with burgundy I told you guys that I'm looking for a vintage burgundy box Kelly I have probably found it and hopefully you will discover that in this vlogmas too it's such an exciting exciting time for me yeah so i need to now abandon you only for a few minutes because first of all do i look very i need to brush through everything that's the first thing that i need to do second of all is i need to abandon you because i need to finish off some projects that we're working on that are not youtube related so to help your girl out go and follow me on instagram or on tiktok because yeah we are family right so support your family guys welcome to the bedroom today went from my sister's calling me okay hold on i have to update you in a second so I was saying, today got from like bad to worse. I mean, <laughs> it's just a way of saying it. It's not really the truth. I kind of wanted to take it easy. I don't feel like, I feel like I've been chasing my own tail all day long. Is that a saying? I don't know. But one thing that always makes it better is you guys, like reading your comments and just like communicating with you guys is always what makes it better. And I know this is such a cheesy thing to say, but trust me, I promise you guys, this is the truth. And basically what happened. So I was like filming something for my TikTok and then I broke a vase, like not actual vase, like a Soho home one, one of my favorite vases i'll insert the picture here if i can still find it or whatever but inside it has like a glass thing because it's like a travertine vase so you can't really it's porous so it has a vase for you to put like a glass one so you can put water and stuff and i broke that inside part and then i was like i'm not i cannot clean this right now i just left the like left it stay there on the floor and then basically i decided instead to do a live for 90 minutes so that's what i've done and i thoroughly enjoyed it because you guys always put the biggest smile on my face i just i just enjoy it you know what i mean that is what it is i just really enjoy spending time with you guys and talking to you guys and i understood one thing from today not just from today but in general the reason why i do this thing is you guys i have the most 
honestly the best the most supportive the kindest audience there is and i know probably like everybody says that i mean at least i hope everybody says that because i hope everybody thinks that about themselves i truly think that about myself because for me my audience is very similar to me as a person i have wonderful kind people that are just like me <laughs> that came out so wrong what i wanted to say is that like people who follow me are all like very like like-minded with me so that makes things always easier so thank you i'm reading all the comments and all the love that you guys are leaving under my videos yes my love cause i too i'm gonna leave it in the video baby so my first unboxing i got for christmas but it's not christmas yet what do yeah, you mean you got for christmas gr so this is my no but baby you cannot open a christmas gift before christmas uh, it's just too late this is my refill mm -hmm. for my agenda that i use the ah is it wrong one i don't need this Mwah. What is it, baby? This is the... I have these. I need the one with the days. And this one is with no days? It's okay, baby. We have the guy's phone number. No, you just... know what? I need to open it. Why? Because can you understand if it's the one with the days? Yep. Let me see. Let's try to understand without opening. It's with the days. Yeah? But I didn't know that there's a 37th of the... Look. It's, I think, 31st. Yeah, yeah. It's with the days. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Then we happy. Yeah, it's the right one. Yes. Say Felicia this. Yeah, yeah. Love it, love it. What is this? It's the rubrica. What is the so rubrica? So this is perfect for the 2024. Okay, so we got your Goyar Argentina. And what else? This can go. Goodbye. And then... Show me what else. I have... ta -da! No, actually, as you do. Okay, Philippe unboxing. Ta -da! Wow, uh, your pouch, Pochette. Do you want to tell us what made you really get this one? How did you decide? What is it? Etc. Etc. You yes. need to, you know, so, show us inside. Is there the inner pocket, outer pocket? Is there a shoulder strap? Is it can be worn crossbody? No, it's just a little pocket that I never use. So I use these daily basis always because mm -hmm. I don't like things in my pocket at all, especially in the summer. In the winter, you can deal with, you know, when you Which wear of course coat, is so you annoying can do phone, because you can do wallet, you can do keys, but in the summer, I'm very sorry to interrupt just to say that it's very annoying because then people will be like baby can you just put this in your bag and i'm like with a mini kelly and he has a wallet sunglasses and the no, car keys because i don't wear this in the night so if you go out for dinner you will still have to put my keys and my mm. card holder in your bag but during the day when i go to the office here there is a wallet car keys house keys what else mm -hmm. and that's what you need to go around i promise guys you need that in life and that's it i wanted to say that i wanted to say something but i forgot now what maybe i love the color yeah me too and i must say this is influenced by me yeah. i love the burgundy color i'm very happy that my laptop fits in the smaller goyar case thanks that's your suggestion lipo thanks to your boyfriend yeah also okay let me tell you something in this bedroom we're going to be basically changing soon everything so much is going to change maybe even by the time you guys will still see it in this vlogmas basically other thing that i wanted to say sometimes at night when i know that next day i have like a very intense day i feel a little bit overwhelmed and like oops that was not intended and i feel a little bit like why am i doing this to myself right like tomorrow is going to be a very intense day i have a huge Janetta Porta delivery here with me full of like party dresses that i want to show when, you when tomorrow tomorrow morning you're not going to be present unfortunately so tomorrow i'm going to show you all the bits and pieces that i got i think it's going to be quite interesting stay tuned for that because so we're most likely spending the new year's eve in dubai i think so still not 100 percent, but i think so and i want to pick like a really beautiful new year's dress if that makes sense so long story short tomorrow morning i'm gonna show you everything that i got then at 11 a.m i have a live coaching session and then at 12 i need to run to the airport because we're going to london i am i have like also like stuff to do in london and then at night i'm going to the dinner. so that's going to be very very nice and sweet and exciting and i can't wait long story short i already am tired and i want to go to bed but then i don't want tomorrow to already come i have to wake up very early tomorrow so that we can make everything on time and i haven't packed and i'm not really gonna pack because i don't really think i need much for tomorrow night so that's that sorting some new in bits and bobs including this Saint Laurent cashmere blazer as well as this leather jacket that i love so much i'm gonna try find some spots organize things you know what i'm i was thinking maybe i should even put these evening dresses where the blazers are and put the blazers for the winter period here just because i think like i actually wear blazers more often than i do dresses 
Do you know what I mean? I don't know. So there's also this new in Saint Laurent leather skirt. I don't know what else is new, but I'm actually very much ready to go for a long bath. I'm actually filling up the bath right now as we're speaking. Here you can see my two new funky Christmassy sweaters. I think like Philippe and I over dinner, we're gonna try to start booking up our um, little winter getaway. Okay, one thing I can tell you for sure is that I really love, you guys know that Chanel number four five oil i'm gonna put a lot of that i'm gonna put also what else should i put should i put something to foam up probably not you know i think there's enough of water here i'm gonna try and find something okay here i found that it. it's in my little stash of things and it is ladies and gentlemen this by the way from the boutique smells so good i love it it's this kind of like a soap that you can put in your underwear drawer or something like that like we like to put on the door it smells so good so i'm gonna put one of the galette de bain this is my second box of them i already finished the first box i'm sure some of you will remember how much i enjoy this and this is very difficult this always reminds me of vlogmas when i can't open something with one hand because i'm literally holding camera with the other now if it all falls in the bathtub it's not gonna be fun okay this this is so cute. I think you can see that it's not a secret how much I love Chanel. So by the way, since everything is real time, you guys will notice that I had huge in the porta hole that I have unboxed and I've already done a little try on because tomorrow morning I want to film what I got. So yeah, now you're officially in the bath with me. I was just gonna say I yesterday, well, yesterday I ordered this uh, stuff from the porta and I'm basically on a hunt for a perfect New Year's Eve dress. All I'm gonna say is that I think we found, I found it <laughs> i say we found it because i tried on every single piece that arrived right now i filmed it all but it, i just filmed you know how when i filmed like whole videos i actually show you everything and then you can see me kind of try it on and i've already tried it all on and i filmed it and tomorrow morning i'm gonna show you everything i haven't filmed the part where i'm like actually showing everything and looking at everything in proper like daylight so i'm gonna do that tomorrow morning but we've already filmed the try on part because obviously Obviously, I want to tell you all in real time how it is so tomorrow you will see it and all I can tell you is that I think I found my New Year's Eve dress and I'm very happy with it I think it's very spectacular it's very different to anything else that I've ever worn before but again really beautiful and elegant yeah that's what I want to tell you you'll see it all tomorrow and now I've tried on like I think I got like five or six different dresses with the wish to obviously keep one for New Year's Eve and I'm curious to hear as well what you guys will think about it so you'll see that tomorrow and the reason why you will see tomorrow and not in today's vlog why i'm not showing you today i feel like today's vlog is already quite long there's a lot of stuff to show you and you know what tomorrow so tomorrow morning i'm gonna get up very early i'm gonna like the first thing first i'm gonna show you what i got then i have like a one hour long zoom call with my life coach which you obviously already know about and then i'm gonna head straight to the airport because i'm going to london tomorrow for that dior dinner obviously i'm gonna vlog a little bit in london and all of that good stuff but we haven't been in london since the beginning of vlogmas actually well that's fun you know what i mean so it's just that i wanted to kind of fill it in as much as possible with like actually interesting stuff so new year's eve dress hunt is going to be too Tomorrow. Guys, I'm balancing things. I'm like, you don't want to know how I'm balancing it, but it's like a mission impossible. Also, the light is not the greatest. Maybe I should change the spot. What is all of that stuff there? Oh, that's the stuff that you're gonna see tomorrow. So, hope you're gonna wait. Anyway, today I've shown you my new Goyard uh, laptop case. And also, I need to show you another thing. Hold on, let me clip this in. I want to show you what else I got when we went there. And it's not gonna be a surprise that it's a Saint Louis Tote GM. Because I always need like a lot of stuff and it's in uh, the same print obviously I think I'm gonna travel with this tomorrow because I'm trying to go to London I'm only gonna stay in London one night and I'm really 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 trying to go there with one like hand luggage only I'm gonna show you this in actually better light as well hold on Ugh. Oh, getting up is felt real not sure what to tell you so okay let me show you so we got the tote that obviously i'm gonna remove the straps now you know it has this kind of like a wallet thingy inside this is the vibe right which is great i think for carrying everything and now i have like a perfect laptop case and filippo got he showed you his unboxing he got a pochette and his agenda and phil okay now i need to actually go i need to go and pack 
all the stuff that I actually am going to bring to London tomorrow. I'm really trying to only go with hand luggage or literally nothing. So in the morning I'll have my makeup kind of done already. Not kind of done, definitely done. And I'm gonna just add a few pieces to touch up. I will need something to remove my makeup and brush my teeth. That's all, okay? When it comes to beauty because everything else I will already have at the hotel. And then the next day I guess I will need to do my makeup a little bit but not like too crazy. So I just need like a little bit of makeup and I need like some kind of basic hygiene stuff. Actually, I just realized I haven't shown you one other thing. I got something that I ordered a while ago and then whatever, it didn't work and I did a little like exchange on my Teresa and I'll show you what's inside because I want to put it on the shelf. And I think it's like perfectly autumnal. So it's something from the and it is this, what is this thing called? Shoulder bag, but it's in color brown. Like my friend Xenia, for example, she has it in a burgundy color and it's really beautiful and I I love burgundy but i told you already what i want in burgundy color and this is a brown bag from the row shoulder bag i don't have really many brown bags but i know i keep promising to do it do it i just have such a fatigue from like everything i have still not shown you what i got at the sample sale the room it's not really a sample sale it was more like sale this is going to be perfect with my favorite look that i got in there so that's that it's kind of like a dark brown now you can't see it it's very low light and i didn't put the lights on but you'll be able to see this beauty a little bit better let's remove this plastic i prefer when people does this because okay it, it removes it goes soft quite easily actually and also because i just need to kind of create some sort of piece in my wardrobe there we go like tidiness and peace and everything and it's just all together it's not easy let's just say that thing is all because of vlogmas i need like so many electronics that i need like the laptop i need all the cables normally if i was gonna go for a day i don't necessarily really need a laptop but i will need it now so at least like obviously my hair is freshly done it will last me for sure and i just need to kind of like i'll travel in something very comfy probably my kate to denim and something along those lines we'll figure it out now and then london calling what can i tell you guys baby i'm filming baby i'm filming i don't care <laughs> guys i realized i never said good night and goodbye not really goodbye okay that's better light actually um i realized i never finished this vlog i just washed my face as you can see remove the makeup and all of that good stuff i'm in my pajamas these are my favorite pajamas from last i got them last year as black friday I'll, if they're available i will link them below i love them so much and that's that vlogmas day nine is gone i guess i will see you in vlogmas day 10 ladies and gentlemen good night